What's up, everybody? So uh, we wanted to take a quick moment to answer a question on Quora. Uh, pretty much the question was, how can you succeed later on after failing four or five or six times uh, previously? So Cameron, if you want to open yeah, it. Yeah, um, I think uh, probably one of the best things I've ever heard that can kind of summarize this entire phenomenon is, I, I completely forgot the guy's name. I think it was like, uh, he was like a pre... He was a pretty famous like pastor or something like that. I don't I don't remember, but he came up with a quote that said, "How how did you become so so successful?" And his response was, "I failed my way forward." It's interesting. I think it sums up a lot. I think it sums up also that you need tenacity to be successful in business in whatever field. Um, that you need to be able to continue on after failures, and I think a lot of people lack that uh, due to human psychology really and uh our needs or desires for i think it's even maslow's one of maslow's hierarchy of, of mm, needs yeah. you know? acceptance yeah. somewhere yeah. around yeah there. yeah so that that wanting to be part of a group or that wanting to be part of somebody be, basically be somebody who who people like uh it holds us back from a lot of things because we're constantly worried it's constantly in the back of our mind is this venture going to succeed and if it doesn't who's going to hate me well, I don't think anybody's going to hate you. In reality, people might actually respect you for at least trying. So, and here's the next thing. Even if nobody likes you afterwards, it doesn't matter. Fuck them, you know? At the end of the day, you have to do what's best for your life. Um, so having that ability to move forward after failures is very important, and I think it's something that most people do not have. I truly think that failure is just a perception. Um, you know, even when you fail, all you did was you learned that there's something you didn't know. Yeah. That 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 is it. Failure is a perception. Yeah, and so so it's it's basically a learning experience. Almost. Ab- absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. If you can, if you can, if you have the ability to see, because if you fail and you don't learn anything from it, well, then it's useless. But if you fail and then you can say for your next venture, well, this didn't work. This needs to be tweaked. This though, this was working great. Um, if you can kind of build that scenario in your head. When you launch your next venture or the third or fourth venture, you can continuously improve it because you're continuously being able to know what things worked and what things didn't. And I think at the end of the day, that's something that's important. And I definitely think that no matter what you're in business, you're going to experience failure. You're going to experience shortcomings. You're going to experience adversity. It's You're going to have to know how to make those micro adjustments, mm-hmm. micro adjustments along the way. It's not going to be, never will it run smoothly, never will you be able to go from A to B. It's an A to Z game. Absolutely. These are things that, you know, you and me talk about that we've experienced that we've been implementing in our own business continually. Um, and uh, I, I guess I just like quotes, and because I didn't yeah, come yeah. up with these, these are just yeah. old school, I just love old school quotes. I think this one was from Thomas Edison, I don't remember it verbatim, but it was something like, he never failed making a light bulb because you know he didn't make the light bulb on the first attempt he said he just found 296 ways to not make a light bulb yeah i i that's interesting that you said that it shows that we're we vibrate on the same wavelength because i was literally what i was about to say is when you start a business you know it might fail the next business it doesn't mean that you have to completely rework everything from the ground up a lot of the times there are a lot of things in that business that are supposed to be there, that are working properly. It's just a few things that are holding the business back. So if you can identify those few things, you can salvage a lot of what you've already done, implement it in your next venture without having to completely say, okay, I need to rework from ground up. A lot of times there are a lot of tried and true proven business strategies that will work business after business after business. It's just tweaking them in order to work for your business. So I think you know, when it comes to how do you succeed after five or six failures, you have to be you have to be tenacious and you have to have the discipline to know that, look, even if I cut my losses five times before, the sixth time might be it or the seventh time might be it. And rolling on Cameron's thing where quotes are, you know, quotes kind of signify things, um, you only have to be right once. And that's, mm. that's, you only have to be right one time and you're set for the rest of your life. It's almost like trading yeah. stocks at that point. Absolutely. It's just it's, a numbers game. It is. As long as that one win covers your losses and then some, you win. That's, yeah, it's 100%, 100% the same thing. Absolutely. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, I know everybody on Quora writes their answers out and, you know, we write, we write answers as well, but sometimes we want to be able to pick maybe one topic or two topics here and there that we can say, hey, we, we, we can do a better job 
verbalizing this through video. So sometimes if you see our link on, on a question, we're not, we're not spamming you. It's most likely sent directly to something of value that's going to help better answer the question than just us writing it down. Because, you know, things get lost in translation when it comes to text messages. You know, a lot of fights start over text messages and everything. <laughs> it's just, yeah. yeah, it's better and it's easier to see what we mean. Uh, when you can actually see our faces. But hopefully that answers your question. Like I said, we're Tizen Poloshek. Uh, we do business strategies for, for local businesses. Uh, we just, like our bottle says, we help businesses not fail. Uh, and we, we're pretty good at it. So hopefully that, that answers the question. We'll see you in the next one.